Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to TechSmart for another episode of Wish Busters, the show where we buy and try items here on Wish. I've been reading your comments. I know you've been writing them. We're going for the dumbest products you can buy on Wish. Someone's gotta do it. Someone's gotta buy the stupid stuff. That's gonna be me. Here we go. In this one, we're going for the dumbest products you could possibly find on this website. Stuff that just looks weird, doesn't really look to be true. Honestly, stuff that's so cheap, you're probably asking, how does this actually work? And that's what I'm about to find out, how it actually works. So we're jumping on Wish, and we're gonna just start it off. We're gonna search an iPhone case. And I know, I just know the comments right now are, kinda stupid, an iPhone case? I have an iPhone case. I don't mean it like that, I mean it like, here's a $2 iPhone case that is new luxury toughened glass case cover for Apple iPhone 6, 7, 8, X, XS, XR, Max. So we're just gonna buy it for the iPhone XS Max. Gonna get it for $3, toughened glass case. What are other people saying? That's what matters, right? I got a new iPhone case, I love it. Sheila, three days ago, all right? that's. Not what we're looking for. Anastasia, just perfect. The only thing, I wish they had gold, but the rose gold, so it will just look like the 10s. Man, these reviews on Wish, they just gotta get more interesting. Somehow, please, a name that I can't read, Matup, mm, yep. Best case I've had for the 10R, great feeling and fit. All right, sounds great, we're going for it. A quick break from buying some dumb products on Wish. Here's something that isn't dumb, CyberGhost VPN. If you guys haven't checked out CyberGhost VPN, link down in the description. And if you don't know what a VPN stands for, it stands for Virtual Private Network. If you're browsing the internet, you wanna be browsing safely, but more importantly, securely. And some of the advantages with a VPN are being able to access streaming sites wherever you go in the world, being able to watch specific sporting events that could be blocked in your region, or being able to access geo-restricted websites and content. What's also really cool is you can stay safe and anonymous on public Wi-Fi networks. With just one CyberGhost VPN subscription, it covers up to seven devices simultaneously. So there's apps for Windows, Mac, iOS, Android, Fire Stick, Linux, and more. So for just $2.75 per month for 18 months, you can check it out with the link in the description below, and there's a 45-day money-back guarantee, so why not give it a try? All right, let's get back to buying some dumb products now. I was gonna buy it anyway. I wanted to find one. I typed in Air Power. And we got an air power look-alike. I mean, it can charge your AirPods, your Apple Watch, and your iPhone for $19 with nine reviews. Not a single review. Show more, anything. Super thin. We just got stars. That's, that's all we got is stars. <sighs> Do we go for it? $19, a tri wireless charger. I mean, this, Sounds pretty dumb to me. This one, it looks like Apple's Easter iPhone cases that have more of like the pastel colorway. Silicone case for Apple iPhone XR, XS, iPhone XS Max, original cover for iPhone 5, a lot of iPhones. But is it too legit? Uh, I don't know, it looks kind of similar. I think it's worth a shot. Julia, it's very soft inside, but the outside is a bit slippery and there, and there are small holes at the top from delivery. What delivery? But the case is really cute and I love it. Harmony, it came it early, looks just like the original iPhone case and I actually think it is. Great product, definitely recommend. All right, so English is definitely the strong suit on these products. It's not why we're buying them. We're gonna grab it for the iPhone XR. We're gonna get it in yellow. $3, the reviews are saying it all. Speaking of iPhone XRs, we got an iPhone XR here for $489. Drop a like in this video. I'll do a 10 crazy Apple products you probably couldn't find on Wish video. I mean, this thing's pretty expensive, Ev. Like $500, I'm a little out of breath just even seeing the price tag. It is refurbished and there's only one review. It's four star. OMG, it is perfect. I absolutely enjoyed it from Sarah. So you gotta trust it. $500 for an iPhone XR? You know I got one. But do I need another? Oh, this is just stupid. 360 degree lazy bed gooseneck desk mount stand holder for iPad, Samsung, and Android tablet. If you really just wanna be that lazy and blow your eye sockets, you now have a clamp you can put to your headboard and have your tablet just inches away from your eyes in the morning. We're gonna give it a shot. For $5, Samantha, it's stronger than I had expected. I haven't used it yet. So how is it stronger than 
you expected, Samantha. But I know when I do, I'm gonna love it. And just more emojis than I think the keyboard even has. Wow, that's a lot of emojis. Lewis, fits perfect, needs a little elbow grease to get it exactly where you want it. That's an honest review. That's what we wanna hear. You can get it in a few different colors. We're gonna get it in black for the bed. Have it match. $8, we're buying it. We got four things in the cart. We're cruising. All right, let's see what else. I type in stupid, kind of interesting. Be unable to break. Speed up to 40%. I don't know how a lightning cable that definitely isn't made for iPhone certified is 40% faster at speed what? Data? Power? We'll find out for $3. You gotta love it. You just got a random charging cable. Any reviews? Of course not. 1.2 meter? That's all we're getting? Can we get it in red? For $3. What is this? Another cable? USB 3.1 nylon braided lights, LED micro USB. Wow, that's a fat cable for a dollar and it's verified. It looks like Thor on the outside of it. It's lighting up when you're not charging. It should show you a blue light. When you are charging a red light and when you're full, another blue light. Reviews time. Thank you, Wish. Really fast delivery on 20 days I received. Barra, is that just some sarcasm there? 20 days? GR6, love it. Working great. You're a few numbers off there, but it's okay. Trusted and good shipping. Okay, this sounds like the product for me. Six things in the cart. What is this? Fashion cute burger popcorn style. It's an AirPods case shaped like McDonald's, but we tried to get around the logo and did an all right job. I mean, people will know what you got. We got a hamburger, $3, pretty dumb, but whatever, it's on Wish. This is cool, but I wish the hamburger design was all around inside of just in the front and instead what all around the inside of just in the front i don't know how to translate these wish reviews leah super cute and it protects my airpods the way it should there's an emphasis on that the way it should fits well my girl thinks it's cute ronnie sounds good for three dollars throwing it in the cart man these products really gotta find something good now oh ev we have a tattoo kit on here i don't think it's a dumb product but i think it's something we might have to talk about, like, I'm a great artist, dude. I got a high school diploma, and I took art one. I think that's enough. Ev thinks it's enough. I think it's enough. We're saving it for another video. Ev's getting a little scared. I can just see him starting to sweat. All right, $6 AirPods reviews. It's a great item, works well, like the original AirPod case charges. Four stars from Aziza. It was great. A little big, though. Experience Doge. Samantha. Just got them today and they work so good and connecting them to phone is easy. I am very happy. Samantha's happy. She's got a lot of and symbols in there. So we got eight things in the cart. Let's see what, ooh. Motorcycle, anti-theft lock, motorcycle, bicycle, moped, scooter, disc brake rotor lock. So you put this on the rotor of your bike. You could throw it on one of the electric scooters. If you missed that episode, right up there in the iCard. I kind of like it. I want to see if it would work. I don't really know how it would fit around the wheel. But hey, it's worth a shot, right? Smaller than expected, more compact, will do the job nicely for me. That doesn't sound good for me at all. So happy with them, I bought four. All right, everyone seems pretty enthusiastic but me, so I'm gonna go with blue. We're gonna hit buy. We got nine things in the cart. We just need one more thing. One more. Oh, that's just, that's just real dumb. Car ambient light. So you plug this USB adapter into the USB port on your car and an ambient light shows up. Wait, that's, that's really it? Looks great, just took a while and glad I grabbed a few to give as gifts. From Norm 13 days ago, Renee Julius arrived earlier than expected. Great addition to the interior of my car. Love it. Everyone seems pretty happy. Gonna go with purple. Gonna hit buy. And just like that, we got 10 things in the cart for a grand total of $93. Like always, we're gonna hit place order. Just did it. And we're gonna see how long it takes for all these to show up. Honestly, Wish has been pretty good recently. It's been taking about a week, about two weeks at most. Maybe, maybe just maybe these products aren't all that dumb. All right, so everything took about two to three, Ev, how long did it take? About three weeks. Things took about three weeks to come in. It's upsetting that I even have to say it. We didn't get the free USB light that you plug into your car. That's okay, we got a lot of heat. Ev said most everything else came in. 
I'm excited because you guys know we ordered AirPods, the new updated ones, AirPower, a bunch of free iPhone cases, cables that aren't able to break. I mean, yeah, this is the dumbest products out there, but I mean, if an AirPower actually is sold on Wish, I'm into it. I mean, Apple couldn't even pull it off. Now's the time we jump right into it. We're gonna test each product out one by one, see how good it is, if it actually works with what it's supposed to, you'd be surprised on Wish. And then we're gonna rate it on a scale of Wish being really good and Dish being the worst it could possibly be and see, you know, how bad every dumb product really is. I mean, it's Wish. I've been surprised, you've been surprised. All right, let's, let's set the pile of packages to the side. We're gonna go in, oh, it's the free iPhone case with the Apple logo on the back. So, I don't have the silicone case with me, but I do got the leather one here, and this is Apple official. It's got iPhone. It's in the right places, it's all centered. So, I know it might be a little hard to see, but you can see the Apple logo is centered, whereas the Apple logo on the Wish iPhone case is a little off-centered, and that's what you'd get with a free iPhone case that you have to pay shipping on, on Wish. It's always gonna be a little off, but F, without me telling you that, would you be able to go into an Apple store pick up the yellow silicone case for an iPhone 10 and be able to distinguish a difference? Ev might be fooled. There's only one way to find out. Wait, you got me thinking this is gonna work with an iPhone 10. You guys can see and tell, TechSmart didn't even know the phone he got the case for, but this is actually for an iPhone 10R and this is controlling the camera up here, so, you know, it works. You guys get to see a little behind the scenes. I mean, for an iPhone XR, not bad. Ev, what do you think? The mustard and ketchup combo. Out of five W's, how many are you gonna give it? Two. Ev's giving it two W's on his own phone case. I mean, I'm just gonna give it back to you and you can live in agony. Now on to item number two. This one feels kind of light. Any guesses? What do you think I'm, do you think, do you think I'm talking to the air? Ed thinks it's the burger. How'd you know? How did you know? It is the burger AirPods case. So you've probably seen some AirPod cases out there, ones that can wirelessly charge your AirPods if you don't wanna get the AirPod 2s. I think that's a video right up there in the iCard if you missed it. But this is another alternative. This is definitely a statement. Like we're going with the AirPod 2s. You just slide them in. Let's just talk for a second. When making a burger, are you really gonna put the lettuce on the bottom? Ev, have, have you ever made burgers before? Have you ever put lettuce on the bottom? That is not where it goes. I think for that, the rating is gonna have to change. Now as for the AirPods case, it's functional. I mean, it stays on a little bit. It's kind of starting to peel off where you obviously pop open the AirPods. That would make sense. But how do you, this, am I supposed to feed this through that hole? Do I have to poke it? I got a lot of bag of tricks down here. Basically turned it into a magician. So, oh, so if you just like poke it, okay. You just get rid of that. So I can do this right. And just like that, Ev, does that affect the rating? I mean, pretty sure your AirPods don't come with a, a mini lanyard. Put it on your finger, you can spin them around. Wow, I think that actually improved the product. Okay, AirPods case, hamburger edition. I'm giving it a wish, three out of five W's. It's not that bad. With the knife popping the hole, that really did save the day because I don't know if I can confidently rock this in public with there being lettuce on the bottom. Can we imagine the number of people that are gonna be like, wow, that guy's dumb. Yeah, I mean, just watch this episode. Dumb products on Wish. Okay, we got one Wish, we got one dish. Now on to product three, and make sure you guys vote up in the iCard what your favorite product is in this video. We got a lot more. Oh man, is this the unbreakable? This is the unbreakable lightning. Maybe the packaging, they should also make them breakable. I'm gonna 
is that? It's just the smallest piece you could have possibly ripped off. This is, that's metal. Had to do the old liquoroonie test. I don't actually wanna break this. I'm gonna try, just don't think I'm holding back if I can. I like this. So if you were to put this into your computer, it fits in there nicely on an L jack. And then same thing with your phone. Oh man, oh man, oh man, oh man. Wait, I cracked the screen protector on my iPhone. So if you plug that in and then plug this into your computer, that that's kind of flush. I mean, not bad, but is it really unbreakable? Don't be, wow, that, that hurts my hand more than it hurts anything. I'm gonna go out on a limb and take it at its listing value and say this isn't breakable. This is truly unbreakable. I mean, metal at the bottoms, this goes into your computer, this isn't gonna wear over time. And this l jack. I mean, as long as this isn't getting messed with, pretty much good. Wish or dish, total wish, five Ws. All right, wow, maybe actually dumb products aren't actually turning out to be dumb. We'll find out with product number four. Oh yeah, oh yeah. This is the scooter lock. I really wanted to try this out on a bird scooter, but now the more that I think about it, oh, wait, that's really easy. All you have to do, I mean, we've all seen how a lock works before. Turn the key and that comes right off. So the whole point of this is putting this right on the axle where a rim is, where obviously if there's something there, your bike's gonna get messed up if you try to go or someone tries to steal it. I'm gonna test this out. I'm gonna test this out in the real world. I don't have anything to really put this on. A bird scooter's axles, and the spokes are a little thick for this to go around, but feels pretty solid. I don't know how someone would cut this off without you seeing it. What's this? Is this like a guard? I'm gonna figure what this plastic piece is out in the real world. There's just too many auras forces in here for me to think straight. We flew all the way to Hanoi, Vietnam to see in the motorbike capital of the world where you can't drive a car because there's too much traffic. If the $1 wish lock actually is good. Now here comes the big moment we've all been waiting for. $1 lock. <gasps> She doesn't think the lock is good enough. Wish prove her wrong. Oh, how about now? It's better than I think. So, wish lock. Wish or dish? Wish. Five W's all day. We gotta do more real world demonstrations. I'm kinda getting mysterious. This episode has not let me down. Maybe, maybe I should just switch to stupid products for the rest of the time. Maybe this channel is just gonna turn into a stupid channel. For an iPhone XS Max, I know, I, I got this one right. And it's kind of a nice color red. Don't, don't laugh at me. This is pretty nice. It's got a nice hard shell back. Is that glass? Not only do you have double glass, but you can still kind of show off the glass back. If you really wanted a red iPhone tennis Max, but you just couldn't get one. I'm into this. My phone doesn't break by the end of it. Oh, dude, this is, what do you think? F, you have a red iPhone XR. Now I have a red iPhone tennis Max. Not bad. Apple logo actually looks centered. The iPhone font, it's thick. It's almost like twice the thickness it should be, but for protection on the back and also being made of glass, I'm almost tempted to throw this at the wall just to see if it cracks the other glass that it's protecting on the actual iPhone. Wish or dish? I'm gonna give it three out of five Ws. That's gonna be a wish for me. This case looks really good. And there's no cracks or visible damage. We're gonna give it a four out of five Ws. We're at the halfway mark. All right, item number five. Let's, let's see what we, oh, I, I told you I wouldn't do it again, but I'm gonna have to do it to him. We got the i7 TWS. I think these are the $4 AirPods if it only comes with one. If it comes with two, I think they're charged. What's holding on for dear life? 
Maybe they're charged? Does it come with a cable? Finally, something will read. Some Chinese that I'm familiar with. There's also English on the other side. You got a charging cable? Let's actually see how these sound. Oh. Oh. Oh yeah. No, I cracked. Yeah, that the phone's cracked. The phone is like proper cracked. Whoa. I didn't even look at the front. Is the in the of course. Really? Okay. Okay. You're going to you're going to really do me like that. What? Look at this. Look at the crack and the spider web on this phone. You saw how nonchalant I was. I didn't actually think yeah, that case is a total dish. Don't buy that. This is the second iPhone XS Max I've gone through. This was an Apple Card. So that really sucks, but let's test out these AirPods now. So, pretty sure if I go to Bluetooth, you can hear them saying power on. So I've tried to get both AirPods to sync. I can only get one connected to Bluetooth. So we're gonna listen to Lil Tecca's Ransom, okay? If zero is the worst pair of headphones you've ever heard in your life, and 10's the best pair of headphones you've ever heard in your life. These are probably a two. They're one notch above airplane headphones, the free ones, but not much higher. I almost wish I didn't, I didn't have this experience. Wish or dish with the $4 AirPods that have not improved? Definitely a dish. One W out of five. Stay away from these. Now on to item, item. Item. Seven? We have item seven? F, we have item seven. Did I miscount? I think I might have miscounted. All right. Maybe I'm the dumb one in this video. That's that's all I've learned. This is really something interesting that I, I think is gonna work out. But here's the big thing. It requires a bed, and there's no bed here, but there is a desk. I will test this out at home because they did on Wish. I think the reviewers and other people that bought it probably had a good time. Wow, that is, yeah. <laughs> okay, all right, we're gonna clamp it in. And then this fits, <sighs> don't hurt me. You can clamp your phone in, I kinda like that. And then you have this piece, which creates space in between the clamp, okay, Ev. We're giving this a shot. I don't think there's a bed that's required. <laughs> okay, I, I really see this one working. There's not a lot to it, and that's the secret to wish. Actually, I'm going, I'm going right, I'm going right here. This is actually something you could put in like a bag or a backpack if you really wanna be lazy when you wake up or go to bed. Yeah, this is not the worst. I'm gonna fire Texmar video up. Normally, you would be able to see just perfectly, but we had an incident. Look at that. You can move this any direction you want. What do you think about this, Ev? I like it. Ev likes it, I like it. It's extremely useful. I'm gonna, I'm gonna take the screen over. <laughs> Give me the phone. Wow. You don't even need to hold it. I don't know why I'm, I'm holding it like that. This is definitely a wish. Five W's all day. Put this in your bed, in your bed, next to your bed, on your bed, somewhere that you wanna watch or you normally find yourself watching YouTube or any type of content. This is awesome. Now on to item eight. We're not miscounting anymore. Okay. We got the interesting USB type C cable. Apparently this lights up. I actually wanna find out. Got a Pixel 3 XL here, it is dead. Cable is plugged in, it does light up. Let's see if it changes colors. Does the phone even recognize that it's charging? Maybe the Pixel 3 XL will charge. It's got a big battery, it is dead. So here's the problem. It's a USB-A, a normal standard USB with a USB-C tip. That's not necessarily the most practical. Yeah, some battery banks and power banks. 
they're gonna still have the traditional USBs, but with where the future's headed, this would've been way cooler and much more worth it if it was USB-C to USB-C. So since the Pixel 3, maybe, or maybe, it, it's not getting any power. Wish or dish, dish, zero out of five Ws. I don't have any patience. I just, I just want a cable to charge my phone. Now on to the grand finale, the coolest product I think I've ever bought on Wish that Apple could make. The Air Power Wireless Charger. Air hyphen power wireless charger. They show an iPhone, an Apple Watch, and a pair of AirPods all being able to wirelessly charge. It says Air Power there. Here's where the coils are. So two coils on the right, one on the left. Pretty basic stuff. Ev, do you think this product from wherever it came from is gonna charge with a lightning cord or some random cable. Ev's going with the lightning, the official. Wow, not bad. So not official. Stoked I get to practice my Chinese. Heck yeah. Of course there's an English side. Wow, so here is the Air power, it says air power right down there, charging mat. I feel like there's gotta be some story behind this where some factory was making these under the radar, hoping that Apple would release theirs at a crazy high price of $100, $200. We didn't actually know the price. And they'd swipe on in there, take all the business with the knockoff. But no, Apple just scrapped the project and we're left with the Wish Air Power. That's probably what happened. That doesn't sound all that wrong. So here comes the big test. What we've all been waiting for, the $20 air power should allegedly charge an Apple Watch, an iPhone, and a pair of AirPods that are Qi charging compatible. So I got the AirPod 2s here. We're gonna set them down. Oh my, that was the biggest tease of my life. I saw a light pop up on the reference monitor. Where is it? Got a cheat. That's it. Okay, the iPhone XS Max is charging. I know this is the biggest deal, the greatest thing of my life, better than any child being born. AirPods now. Don't let me down. Come on. I want three things to charge at the same time. Apple Watch, maybe. I, this should work. This, don't just charge my iPhone. I don't want that. Give me something more. Really? And I'll just try the AirPods. Oh my, no way. Wow, the Apple Watch is charging. Is it still charging? What did I do? Did I, did I have to complete the circuit or something? I'm gonna put the AirPods down again. See, that was just the magic touch. The spell, the forces. All right, okay, I got it. So the producers and directors of this show have informed me that I am stupid and probably the least intelligent person on the entire planet and most definitely on YouTube. The air power should work and here's why it didn't. Well, there wasn't enough power going to it, you know? It's just not supposed to get the power from the air. No, you gotta give it the power, even though the name is called Air Power. Here we go. We got a battery bank that is fully charged, I promise. And we might see magic happen. Phone goes on. We know the phone's gonna charge. Apple Watch goes on. Boom! It actually charges, and for a little bit more than just one second, and now the AirPods the AirPods charge, you can see the light. Apple Watch is still charging. Phone is still charging. Well, there's, that doesn't work on the AirPods. The point being, you can actually buy Air Power on Wish. I'll leave a link in the description if you wanna check it out. Usually we don't because the links and prices change, but this is something really special. Something that I call the dumb product, but actually was really sweet. 
Wow. So that is gonna do it for this episode of Wishbusters Dumbest Products Edition on Wish. Make sure you guys vote up in the iCard right up there what your favorite dumb product was. From this video, my favorite has to be the air power. Probably gonna break more things. Apple couldn't even pull this off. Wish could and at a pretty insane price. I mean, I think this was like $20. You guys can check it out in the link down in the description. Really, this is the coolest thing that I didn't think was gonna work. It didn't look like it was gonna work, but it came through in the end. Thank you, Air Gods, and thank you, Air Bud. Couldn't have done it without you. So that's it for this one. If you guys are new, make sure you guys get subscribed so you don't miss another episode of Wish Busters. Drop a like if you want more, and let us know in the comments any other ideas you have or anything else you want us to check out on Wish. And I'll catch you guys next time.